the instrument panel was totally flat and I decided to improve this part using a hole puncher to cut circles in a styrene sheet to simulate the dials with the decal provided in the kit, which was printed to use as a reference. I used Fletch Floor Polish as a gloss coat, which has worked well for me for the last couple of years. I have found that drying each coat with a blower makes the process a lot faster. adding a wash over the clear coat to make all the details previously painted pop as it should and give some depth to the cockpit. To remove the wash, I use a cotton swab lightly moistened with white spirit, which removes the excess filth of the areas I'm rubbing. I also modified this piece of the instrument panel, that the bulletproof glass came molded with two thick cylinders sticking from the bottom and looked way out of scale. So I snapped them off, I remade those with stretched sprue and painted cockpit green once finished. To add another layer of interest to the model, I decided to rivet the aircraft. For this task, I used some reference online, a pencil to mark the lines and go with Rosie the Riveter tool and sanded the surface smooth. Notice here these two notches, which I glued to make easier the fit to the wings with the fuselage. There is nothing holding the piece behind and tends to leave an ugly stripe on the belly of the aircraft, if not done correctly. The canopy comes molded in one piece, but I wanted to display it open, so I cut the sections needed to make this modification.
adding the wing position lights because I wanted to try something different. I used CA glue to fill the wing tips and sand it flush once cured to mask them before painting. If you look closely, the airbrush was spitting water, and I didn't know why at the time. So make sure to drain your water trap on your compressor every once in a while to avoid this. I decided to paint Japanese Hinomaru markings because it is easy. They are just red circles and can improve a lot of model, unless you have really good decals, but that's up to you. I didn't use the Tamiya decals because they are a bit on the thick side and may hide my riveting work under those areas.
following the same process of the cockpit, but now with the exterior of the fuselage. Use the wash over a gloss coat. This way you can remove the excess easily with a paper napkin or cotton swab moistened with white spirit. Do you remember what I said about using the blower to dry faster those gloss coats? Be careful, because too much heat in a focused area can melt plastic. In the case of this thin canopy, it bent from the side due to the heat making it unusable. I had to make one from a plastic piece I cut out of a cheese packaging. Mm -hmm. 